it's been a minute since I made a video. I'm out here in the Mojave National Preserve. There's nothing out here. This road's open. Sometimes they say it's closed. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna take you to a cool little spot on Route 66. We're in California. We're outside of Vegas. We're heading towards 29 Palms and Joshua Tree. But today I'm gonna show you something kind of cool on old Route 66. So this is kind of the start of our journey. I'm only about 40 miles outside of Las Vegas. But this is the back way. Don't come out this way if you don't got enough gas. There's been a lot of times where I've just kind of not gone because of the fact that I'm worried about gas because there may or may not be gas open halfway. Otherwise you're gonna need about 150, 160 miles. On a car obviously that's no problem, but on a bike, you know how it goes. All right, the miles don't matter. I'm back. Here we go. Back way from Las Vegas to the Poem Desert. There's nothing out here. It is beautiful. Actually, there's a whole lot out here. There's nature, all kinds of rocks, cactus, dunes, yucca trees, mountain ranges. But as far as food, shelter, gas, lodging, there's none of that out here. So be prepared if you go this back route out here. I'm right above Kelso Dunes. Just out here, I want to show you some of this beautiful scenery and desert out here. Made it. Amboy, California. Route 66. 92304, California. The middle of nowhere. This is out here. Famous sign. You've seen a lot of movies. The Hitcher. The California with a K movie. I'm sure about five or ten other movies. Um, I actually just seen a commercial the other day for a car company that was out here parked in front of here. There's been a whole lot of commercials, a whole lot of movies filmed out here, but there's nothing out here. The old hotel. Like I said earlier, I came out here before on my bike because I get a little nervous about gas. That sometimes open, sometimes isn't to get gas over there. Today it is, so I'm good, but it's a little bit, a little bit sketchy sometimes. But yeah, it's pretty awesome out here. It's cool to see this stuff and stop. I'm not 
best friends is in the music industry and he's on tour all the time and so going to like London and Paris and things like that is kind of normal for him and he'll be on the road doing music and artist type stuff um, dealing with hotels venues and stuff like that and a week or two ago he took his wife out to Paris France London England uh, and they jumped over to um, uh, to, to Rome as well and, uh, and he was telling me how amazing it was to see the culture and the history of places when you can actually go on vacation and go look into things and see things, you know, and kind of like a tourist and stuff. And, and that's cool because a lot of times in life, you know, kind of passes by pretty quick and, and we see things and we're like, oh, that's cool, but we don't get a chance to really kind of absorb it. And so I like to do that, you know, and obviously that's what I kind of do on this channel here. So yeah, we're out here at Roy's. Route 66, California, Amboy, California. Pretty awesome. On my way to Palm Desert, but this was my destination for today. Check this out and learn a little bit more about it out here. office, the cafe, a little bit of gas, the motel which is closed, and that's it. You've seen it folks, this is Amboy. That was the Amboy school. And we're out here in the desert. Up there is where I just came through and that's the Mojave Preserve. Totally beautiful. And out there is where I'm headed. And that's the Palm Desert. Mexico beyond that. Salt and Sea, etc. appears to be some type of true shoe tree. Here is founded in 1858. Vital rest stop. Sun drenched travelers seeking a better life in California, coming out from the Midwest and the East Coast. Now, what's interesting is in 1938, this Roy's Cafe opened, and they said it did a brisk business back then because this was there's just nothing out here. I mean, there's nothing out here now, so you can imagine back then. This is where you came to eat, and they were they were doing their thing. Had quite a little business going on out here. Now, as you see, it's all closed down as far as the hotel goes. I know right now there's a lot of people whose worlds are upside down. You know, everything's in turmoil. We're seeing cities just, just ran through when it comes to crime and the situations that are going on and the, the racial discord. There's just so much going on right now, you know. And so the other day, about two days ago, I got a word. I want to give it to you. And that word is reset. Okay. I was given that word. It came to me. And I think it's important right now. The reality is we got things going crazy. You know, I was reading about the Walmarts leaving Portland, Oregon entirely because of crime and everything else. And that the, they're moving out of San Francisco, all the big box stores and whatnot. And there's just, the world's just upside down right now. And everybody's focused on a lot of the negativity. When you get online, you know, I see nothing but talk of the negative and what's going wrong and what's going bad and everything. And, and not that that's not true because I agree with all that. Things are going bad, right? But I think it's time that we got to refocus on something. And so that word reset, that just, that, that was, that just hit me like, this is what we need to do. Not just myself, but for certainly myself, but also just people in general. It's time for us to reset, get back to where, get back to a place where we have peace in our heart, get back to a place when our lives were better and our lives had meaning. 
it, to me, for myself, is get back to where, we're, where I'm helping people. And when I'm doing things for others instead of myself, that's what I've got to reset to. So I'm going to reset to there. And um, I might have some more ideas on how to reset over these next couple of videos because this is something that came to me. And I think this is going to be what I need to do with my life, you know. And, um, and it's crazy, you know, with the AI stuff. Everybody's talking about AI this, AI that. And here's the reality, you know. I just want you to, it's, it's a long debate on whether that's good or bad, you know. And that's probably for a different format and a different time. I have a strong opinion about it for sure, but I'm not going to get into all that here. But I just want to say one thing about that. You know, you got to remember with the AI, A stands for artificial. When was that ever good? When was that ever a good thing to be artificial? This world desperately needs more authenticity. That's what this world needs authenticity it doesn't need anything artificial but yeah that's where we're going and this is where we're heading to so i understand i mean you know that's the, t the time and day and age we're in but i can tell you like this it's time for us to reset it's time for us to reset and get back to what we did good get back to what we did that helped other people get back to what we did that makes this world a better place to live in and and, and instead of thinking about what's all bad let's think about solutions let's think about how we can make it better that's just my two cents for today on this, you know, and I've thought about that as I rode out here. And the reality is, is that, you know, we've got it. We can, we can name, everybody can name a whole lot of problems. I can name a whole lot of problems around the world. You can too. But let's talk, start naming solutions. Let's start the conversation talking about solutions to these problems. Yeah, man, the world's messed up right now. Let's start trying to fix it, okay? That's just all I'm saying, man. It's time to reset. So as always, man, the miles don't matter, man. The miles don't matter in your life. Like miles don't matter on these highways, these byways, these back roads in the desert. The miles don't matter, man. No matter what you've been through, no matter how rough and ate up you've been by life and chewed up and spit out, man, those miles don't matter, man. Like I said, it's time to reset. All right, then. Out here from Amboy, California, Room 66. Beautiful sunny day. Warming up. Let me go get on my bike and ride. $6.99 for premium. Welcome to Roy's Gasoline and welcome to California. <laughs> hey. So I was just inside and uh, they, they said at the store that the girl that sold me this little soda, she said, uh, nobody lives here. Someone actually asked and they said, how many people live out here? Just you guys? And she said, no, no one lives out here. So they, they ride in from 29 Palms to work here at this store at the cafe, the gas station. They use the cafe term a little bit loosely, but uh, there is some food in there. And there is that gas for seven bucks a gallon. 